Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question Validate Binary Search Tree. In this question, we are given the root of a binary tree and we need to determine if it is a valid binary search tree or not. The conditions are given to us that a valid BST is defined as follows that the left subtree of a node contains only nodes with a key less than the node's key, the right subtree of a node contains only the nodes with key greater than the node's key, and both the left and right subtree must also be a binary search tree. So if we see in this example, we see that all the values to the left of node 2 are less than and all the values to the right of the node 2 are greater than the root value. So it is indeed a valid binary search tree and so we return true. Coming to the second example, we see that all the values to the left of this 5 node are small than the root value, but the value to the right of this subtree that is 4 is not greater than 5. So it is not a valid binary tree. So we return false. Now how about we change the values of this 4 to 6 and this 6 to 7. In that case we see that the right subtree value is greater than this 5. So it must be a valid binary tree and also this subtree is valid. But then also the answer should come to false because we see that the value 3 is not greater than 5 and all the values in this right subtree should be greater than 5. That means we cannot just compare the value to the root node and give the answer. We need to take into consideration the highest value and the lowest value that a node can be in and then give the answer. So we'll quote this and we'll discuss that line by line. Let's first see the constraints. The constraints are the number of nodes in the range of 1 to 10 raised to power 4 and the node value can be minus 2 raised to power 31 to 2 raised to power 31 minus 1 both inclusive. Now these two values are integer minimum and integer maximum values. Coming to the logic we will have a boolean method. We will name that as valid. We will have a node and a start and value for the same. Now there is a reason that we took long as the argument in both these cases. The value of the node includes the integer maximum and minimum and we need a much higher range than that. If the node is null that means it is indeed a valid BST and we simply return true. Here we need to check if the node value is in the range of start and end. If it is in the range that means it is a valid uh, value and we need to check the left and right subtree. We will call the same method on the left and right. Now in the left the range will now shorten up to start till node dot value and for right the range will now become node dot val to end. If the node is not in the range then we simply return false because it is not a valid binary search tree. Now we will need to call this method on the root node. So we will call it on the root. The range will be from long of min value to its max value. So this completes our coding and when we run this code, we get the right result for the first example. Let's test it for the second example as well. It is working fine. Let's say this for the test case that we discussed. We will be having a value 6 instead of 4 and a value 7 instead of this 6. It should give false as this 3 is not in line with the binary search tree conditions. So it is giving false. When we submit this code, it got submitted successfully. The time and space complexity of this algorithm is O of n as we are iterating over every node and also in order to maintain this recursion stack it needs O of n space. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.